my name is Ali. Um, for the past um, few months, I've been I've been fascinated about AI technology. So um, I developed this huge hunger of learning more about the AI. So I decided to go on the search, you know, on the internet, on YouTube, everywhere, because the topic is trending everywhere. But I just couldn't really get into the level of understanding about AI until I came across Mr. Giovanni. A brilliant and mind-blowing individual whose expertise lies in the field of AI. His background is sure to fascinate and inspire you as we delve into our discussions on artificial intelligence. Get ready to be amazed. Thank you so much for watching and if you do enjoy it, please do subscribe and share. I did an, uh, an um, uh, I'm certified, I'm a uh, certified professional uh, mm -hmm. data science okay. AI, mm -hmm. but that's just education. Right. But I did that because with my innovation, which I'm working on yes. a couple of years already, okay. people didn't take me seriously, mm -hmm. not enough, mm -hmm. because I didn't have the background. Right. But now I have also the knowledge about mm -hmm. it. So basically, mm -hmm. what I what I expected to to see, right. and what is possible with AI, mm -hmm. I did that education just to make sure that my vision right. is correct and mm -hmm. feasible. Okay, interesting. And how long does the does that uh, education and uh, all the study of, uh, of yeah. artificial intelligence? Yeah, know, that was half a year on the university, Open University in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Okay, yeah. that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. And, and then, what the only thing which very important what I would yes. say that I learned mm -hmm. is two things. Okay. Is there is no information in the sense that we think is information. Okay. Information is the reduction of uncertainty. Right. And the more uncertainty you reduce mm -hmm. at a certain point mm -hmm. you get something like it informs mm -hmm. it takes forms wow so wow. if i would say um your name then there would be there might be 50 people in the world with that name interesting but yeah. then if i say it's in toronto then maybe there's just five okay. and if i tell you your birthday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your tele a telephone number mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it only can be you right so that's information mm -hmm. not in the sense not in the sense that it's truth, mm -hmm. but it reduced all uncertainty mm -hmm. about who this person can be. Interesting. Okay. My next question is, um, could you explain the specific AI technology or models you have worked on? Yeah, we had to make uh, some. Uh, so, so I did an, 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 an case, a case yeah. study. Okay. And that was basically just to prove mm -hmm. um, that personal data, yeah. the creation of personal data mm -hmm. will lead to more information gain than if, if, the, if the creation of the data is done by platforms. Mm -hmm. So basically I can prove yeah. that the information gain, which mm -hmm. is basically uh, the reduction of uncertainty, yeah. um, or in entropy, in the, in the information entropy, yeah it reduced the entropy yeah. and the more data and the more data in i would say that's the da the, the, the data of gra the gravity of data mm -hmm. so uh, you have the length mm -hmm. and the white mm -hmm. the white is uh, how many features that's the width the width yeah, yeah. the width yeah. that's the the amount of uh, features right um then you have the the amount of data points mm -hmm. that's the length mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then you have so if you use that you get metadata mm. i would call that that's the depth wow. so the wow. more information you get about this mm -hmm. the more uncertainty the more entropy um, uh, information entropy you get the more mm -hmm. entropy yeah. you reduce mm -hmm. And that brings basically the depth. Right. So now, if you would have the width, mm -hmm. the length, mm -hmm. and the and the depth, mm -hmm. 
infinite mm -hmm. about a person, wow. you have your digital twin. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so I'm a founder of a company called Hux Labs, and our thesis on what we're doing is we're building voice AI solutions for brick and mortar businesses. For? Brick and mortar businesses. So brick and, oh yeah, mortar. Yeah, yeah. So give an example, one of our first use cases is we're developing a conversational AI agent to help take orders in fast food drive throughs so eventually when you pull up to your favorite fast food brand, Tim Hortons, or any other kind of brand, be it a burger chain, et cetera, our AI system will be able to take your order accurately and effectively uh, and humanize that conversation uh, with less errors and uh, we like to say better peace of mind for the team member and the owner of that business. You won't believe it. I was, um, um, I'm here in, in Canada and my cousin, showed me uh, Tim Hortons yeah. and he says always crowdy, yeah. always in uh, waiting in line yeah. and I thought while they wait why not collaborate because the thing is we we can learn from history yeah. and that's basically chat to is yeah. learned from history because yeah. it's not new Correct. It's, it's not future yeah. text we can learn from history we can learn from the present, and we can learn from our projection in right. the future, yeah. and how we project, and why we projected, and why it didn't came through, right. or why it happened, right. what we thought. So then we can basically theorize. So mm -hmm. we can theorize, and we can learn. Mm -hmm. So we can, uh, I would say, um, we can learn from cause and effect, mm -hmm. and we can improve like efficiency, mm -hmm. where you work yeah, on more exactly. efficient. conversation yeah. about taking the yeah. order mm -hmm. but if you extend that that you communicate and you interact mm -hmm. with that not for the for the uh, not for commercial reasons mm -hmm. but for the learning of the of the of the of the global people mm -hmm. we have challenges ahead so why not learn from every individual correct so if an individual would sit there and just wait it could chat um, verbally, get that information, so it scans a QR code like now yeah. the conversation starts, yeah. that conversation is recorded coming back in text, yeah. so the person has also the conversation, uh, when it is an interesting conversation, yeah. has that log, so it can learn from it, doesn't forget. Absolutely. And now it chats, basically, with the intelligence of the people, it feeds this intelligence, it gives reflection, and now you get the interaction. Mm. And then a person that knows a lot about history and thought about it can yeah. verbally give information, yeah. new insights, somebody in the present or somebody in the future. I'm, vision, I'm a visionist. Mm. So I would always chat about yeah. new things. But the thing is, these new things are not in there yet. Mm. You could, so you could, you could, you could call it ideas. You could call it innovations. Right, right, you right. could call it any anything. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's envisioning yeah. future. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, if I envision something and you hear it, it makes made, uh, maybe yeah. it makes sense for you. Maybe it doesn't. Doesn't mean that it's incorrect. But if it makes vision, it makes sense for you. Now it's more or less like it's it's not insane. Yeah.
pineapple in your pizza, right? So we eliminate that. We integrate everything in one. There are no more. You don't need four iPads anymore. It all just goes in one. So like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is like we have uh, we have full control. So like for example, if you don't have a pineapple, you can just say, hey, no more pineapple, and that and that pineapple goes are, like sold out or like out of stock. You can you can't really choose that for, for your own uh, deliveries. That's it. And then you're building it or we we, we already we already uh, we are already at the seed round. Okay. Right now. Um, what is the challenge? Sorry. What is your challenge? What is your ex challenge? What is your difficult point? Uh, your right, right now we are expanding to North America. We are integrating with Uber, DoorDash, Keep the Dishes. So like we are in the, in the, at the stage of integration in the local market, the local deliveries and the point of sale system providers. So so we are, so like we just started like two weeks ago. We're just, we're just in there. We are, right now at this point we have 800 integrations worldwide. Okay. Um, can I have your email address? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, because I'm going to send you an email also. Um, <clears throat> I'm working on the internet, which is uh, independent, doesn't need platforms. So imagine you would have an app, an, a delivery app, where individuals, humans, collect their own data. So, so restaurants have restaurants and users, the people that buy it. Yeah. It's their app. Mm -hmm. That would save a lot of uh, uh, intermedia costs, but also innovation like this would be much easier to adapt. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you would do this, you could just start in somewhere in the world with some restaurants and some people or whatever, and then just trigger that out and then you spread. You don't have to ask Uber Eats to do this. Mm -hmm. Because the restaurants would say, hey, that's, that's great, because that saves us a lot of time. Yeah. And it would be better for uh, consumers because they will have like, I don't know exactly, but the pineapple, it's not there and they will know. So it's less misordering. Yeah. They will decide if they want to test this feature and they decide if they roll that out. Mm. And now you have a second party, a third party like Uber, and they might have an agenda, an agenda, which is basically, basically saying, oh, we don't want that because this is interfering our business model or our monopoly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then this innovation would liquidly flow, like flowing much easier in the ecosystems. Okay. You understand? I think that cracks. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. So that's an example why we need that internet which is not leaded by platforms. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. But, uh, this stage is because we are like I, I get what you're saying it's in the future there is, there is a possibility like it but in the stage of us uh, how can I say it at this at this stage Uber, Dora, Skip the for example they have such a big uh, impact on the society everybody knows about it like I can tell you hey no no, no I this. know but you're yeah. talking about the impact the thing is what I'm saying if you would be able as restaurants and as individuals an software, an application, yeah. which do, is doing exactly the same, but the data is stored here and not in their platform. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, 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 so everybody will get their own server kind of thing, but maybe yeah. like a small... So, so, so it could be that Uber is still making software, but then you use their software because they make better software, yeah. not because you are already a user. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then they have access to all this data. Yeah. I mean, is it like and then you have a lot of better recommendations. In terms, yeah. 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 So, and, and now they have a little bit, Uber has a little bit, Deliveroo has a little bit, and, and then you would have all the data, and then all the recommendations would be much better. Because yeah. you have less biased data. I guess. And you as an invent, uh, inventor or an innovator, you don't need a third party to ask, can we use this? You ask the restaurant, restaurant, and then you could start with one restaurant, and then you would have a grassroots yeah, yeah, yeah. innovation. I see. That's very interesting. Yeah. Super. Oh, that's super <laughs> that's <nice>. cool. <laughs> so this was okay. Yeah. So I'm working on that. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you're looking to uh, to to privatize the data, pretty much. That's your exactly. venture. Exactly. I call this the private data governance instead of the platform data governance. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. For everybody.
body better. For also for sustainable sustainability, because now the data is running on that data center, is running on that data center, is running on that data center, and the AI models are more expensive because they have less bio, they have less data, so they have uh, it's more difficult to get information out of it. So their data is also uh, their uh, data model needs more uh, electricity, but they all do that. So they need more, but they need many more. Like mm -hmm. um, more for one model, but there are more models needed. 